Good day, traders. This is Rich with the price action on the markets. Currently 4.08 p.m. September 22nd, 2021, Wednesday, hump day. Here we are, middle of the week. It's been about five days since my last video. I don't remember. Anyway, subscribe if you're new, like the video, share the video, and comment on the video. Yes, there's been a delay in videos for multiple reasons, one being that the markets have just been extremely obnoxious, um, you know, I'm fighting here to just find good trades and, you know, be be uh, really focused on A plus setups. And I tend to find myself getting pulled into some stuff. And today it happened again. Um, the past few days were kind of just up and down. Nothing really to report financially. Uh, news trades. I don't even know if I'm going to have a news trade video this month because there just hasn't been any. Um, there's been a couple things, but nothing to really write home about. I think that's going to pick up in October and, you know, just, just, just doing, you know, we had that great big gap down the other day. Then we had a kind of gap and fade. And today we had a little bit of a gap and pop. Um, we did have fed minutes and or fed meeting and whatnot right here. Uh, I was at the dentist getting my teeth annihilated basically because i've been to the dentist in a while and i missed all this but i came back for the end um actually got back in the green on uh, an ipo so let's get into it i'm gonna make it kind of quick i'm just gonna go through this so mrin um you know your stock in the morning gapped up i thought i was gonna continue higher and just faded completely and i got burnt on it pretty quick so that's how i started my day um and then i went to a ater um, for some reason, I just couldn't make it happen today. There was multiple entries in this thing, and I couldn't make it happen at the end of the day. Um, I tried getting in through the 16 level and got burnt pretty good. and took 119 on that. Tesla was a quick move. Walmart, quick move. All these other, I took an options trade in Amazon. It actually worked out really well. I just kind of got out too early. WIMI um, popped through a whole number. Um, here's the here's the IPO I could have done much better on. Um if you look at this one, it was looking for the 38 break here or 48 break. I was actually looking for the 4750 break, which happened on this candle. Um, pulled back on me pretty good. And then by the end of the day, it did climb up. So I, was able, I actually lost on one trade and gained it all back and then some on the next trade. Snow was a quick news trade. INDP was a quick, like, a lot of volume coming in and kind of jumped on that one. Bros was... Um, a break of a whole number and SPIR, which is a scary stock I was able to make money on. So look at my day, 782, really exciting. Um, it's kind of how it's kind of just sets the tone of my trading lately. I'm just not making any money. I've actually been working on other things at most of the day now. I'm not even really focused so much on the trades, even though I took a lot of trades. I, I kind of need to focus on trading if I'm going to do it, but I'm just, I just don't want to. Um, I want to make sure the market's kind of set up for me and I'm not forcing anything, you know, if I was here during that fed time, I probably would have lost money today. So I'm back. Uh, I should be back for the rest of the week. We'll see what happens. Appreciate you guys. And uh, let me know how your trading's going. If you've been trading with the chop, if you've been fading it, have you been making money, how you've been making it, um, what strategies you're using that's working for you. Let me know. All right. So this is Rich. Make sure you subscribe if you're new, like the video, share the video, and comment. I will should be back tomorrow. I'll let you know because you'll see a video. If not, um, hopefully Friday. Have a good night.